it is Ashley Sandrine. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys have already read the title, you would know that this is a Valentine's Day makeup tutorial. This is the look I created for you guys today. If you are interested to see how I did this, then please continue watching. <laughs> So I decided to create this look using just um, drugstore products and local brands as well. Para it's easier for you guys to find them because that's what you guys suggested. So I am going to be putting clips on my hair first so that it doesn't get in the way. I'm sorry if it's ugly but <laughs> we'll do this first. Para lang it's not magulo. And then I'm sorry also if I keep looking down I have a mirror here. Um, we will be starting with my favorite um, drugstore foundation. This has been the foundation that I've been using for like a few weeks now. And this one is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hours Full Coverage Foundation. You can find this in your Watson store or I think SM. And it's pretty affordable but I love the finish and I love how it lasts on my face. It's so nice and it looks so smooth. Uh, pictures as well so I put like one and a half pump of it on this palette and then I just use my fingers to put it on my face and I'm gonna be using a brush I'm sorry if the brushes and the sponges aren't local but yeah this one is the Sigma flat kabuki f80 brush this is a really nice foundation brush I am just gonna put it all over my face and then just blend it out By the way, you guys, I am in the shade number 120. It is classic ivory. So this is how the foundation looks like on my skin. It makes it makes my skin look so flawless and especially the pictures, guys. It looks really, really nice. This is a close-up and that's how it looks like on me. And then I will be using my concealer to cover my under eyes. Um, I usually use the Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline in the shade number 15, Fair. Or sometimes I use the BLK Cosmetics Concealer in Honey. I think I'm gonna go with this one today. But both are really nice. So if you guys are looking for good concealers that are pretty affordable and easy to find, you guys can look at those. Um, I will be just putting it under my eyes in like a triangular shape and ganyan lang because if you put it in a circular shape you're gonna end up looking like a raccoon especially if there's flashback so ayan. i put it on the points where i want to highlight also which is my nose and then there's something on my chin also so i wanted to cover it up oh and i forgot i want to cover up this spot right here so ayan, I am using my Fenty foundation brush. This is the brush number 110. And it's perfect for the under eyes because it's a small brush. And it's good at blending. There, it's pretty bright. And I like it because it kind of highlights my face. So ayan. And then we'll put powder on it later naman. So don't worry if it seems too bright on camera. And then next, I am using this blush before I set everything with powder. Um, this one is the BLK Cosmetics Creamy Cheek Paint. This is matte in the shade called Candy Cane. I recently just discovered this. My cousin Abby has been raving about this for quite some time now because she's a... She's a med tech and she always has duty. Tapos sabi niya, this is the only one that lasts her the whole day. So when I got this, I tried it on and it was really good. So I just put it like this here and then I just spread it out. It's very blendable and I really like it. It's just subtle but you can build it up naman. Just gives you a little bit of color but and we could just set it with powder blush also later. It's really nice. Super natural lung. 
After that, I am setting the concealer. Kanina, so I'm putting powder now. This is the Maybelline Fit Me powder. And this one is in the shade 120 as well. So this is how it looks like. I am just gonna be using this brush. This one just to set my under eyes. Para it doesn't crease because my eye bags, this area always creases. There's a line here because And then I'll also put it on the parts wherein I put found um I put concealer kanina. And if you guys know you'll be oily, it's a T-zone or something, you could put it as well. So I'm putting it here. This is where I get oily the most. And also here on the sides of my nose. Okay, so for the brows, I am just using this pen. First, I am brushing my brows with a spoolie. And then I am filling it up with this one. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Brow Ink Pen. It looks like it has like three strands to it. When you draw, it looks like you have hair like strokes. I don't know if you could see it there. Wait, I'll show you. It looks like this. There. This is perfect for this part as well. But let's see how I'll try. My brows aren't as um, thick. So I don't know if it will work out for me. Because I'm so nice that my brows are always like filled with powder and wax. But I think this one works as well. You just want to go for like super natural looking brows. Because it fills it up also. There. And then I'll, in this part, I'll make it like flick upwards. And then if it's too dark, you can always just brush it with your spoolie so that it blends. So there, that's how my brow looks like after using the pen. And then I'm doing the same thing on the other side. It's, I think, decent looking naman. Considering I'm not so nice to use this one. But there, it's pretty easy naman. Just make sure to brush it with a spoolie. And then now we are going in with the eyes. When I'm lazy, I don't really use um, eyeshadow as much anymore. But one alternative this is like my favorite alternative to eyeshadow. What I do is I use the Sunny's Face Fluff Matte. Um, this one is in the shade Vacay, but I usually switch it up naman. I use the other colors as well, but this is my favorite. I use the lipstick. I swipe it on my finger. And then I just put it on my lids. And it's really, really pretty. Especially if you're into like pink or peachy shades. So what I do is, I build it up here, and then I bring it to the center, and then I just try to blend it out, bring it upwards as well. I try to build the color here on the edge and make it darker, and then make it lighter here in the center. I've done this for several of my Instagram selfies, and they look really nice in photos as well. I'll probably like show photos here. But yeah, it's a very easy way to put color into your lids if you're lazy. It's not super seen on camera, but yeah, it looks like that. And super nice shot for Valentine's. And then we're going in with our contour next. I am using Happy Skin's Feeling Sculptacular Face Contour Kit in the Honeymoon Glow Edition. I am using their contour shade, which is this one. And then I am using... This brush that I got from the body shop. It is the face and body brush. This one. And then I'm just taking this one, dabbing it a few times, going in here from the top of my ear going down. If you guys want like a cheaper um, powder, you guys can use the BYS. Um, contour powder as well. It's also really nice. And because I have a big forehead, I'm also contouring my forehead here on the temples and then also on the other side, of course. And then don't forget the jawline, especially if you have double chin. This is a good tip contour the jawline. And then I also contour my nose. I'll just use this um, eyeshadow brush. This one is Zoeva's Luxe Soft Definer Brush. 
looks like this can you see it looks like this and then what I do is from here I try to connect it to my nose like this so I watched a video and it said nah, if you just start it from here and then all the way down it doesn't look as natural but if you come from here from the lid to the sides it looks more natural so just trying that out there it looks like it's a little bit contoured na. after that I am setting my blush I am using the Caroline oil control blush on this one is in the shade called peach glow and I'm in two very peachy shades so I like this this is how it looks like I am using this blush brush it's um, real techniques just looks like this and then I'm just starting from here and then bringing it all the way in the middle actually sometimes if I want a more intense color I get a denser brush so I think we'll do that also para mas mukhang drunk blush here's the center because I usually put um, my blush on my nose as well so we'll, we'll use this one this is max 128 brush but as long as it's a dense brush you can use it para mas pack yung color so I put it here So there, it just looks a little bit more seamless. And after that, we are doing the lashes. I'm just curling my lashes. This one is from Shu Emura. My lashes aren't that long. If you guys want, you guys can put falsies, but I'm too lazy. So we'll just go with the natural lashes. I am using my L'Oreal False. Fall slash butterfly that's waterproof. I'm using this mascara. So there, I kind of have lashes now. I am putting on highlight. I will be taking just a random sponge and I'm using the Caroline strobe stick. This is how it looks like. This one is pretty affordable and it's really good as well. It does the job. So I'm probably just gonna put it on the sponge and then I'm gonna be putting it on my face. Let's see if that works. If not, you could always use your fingers as well. Oh, there it works. I'm putting it here on the part where I want it highlighted and then I'm just gonna use my hands to diffuse it a little more. You see that glow? Oh my goodness. And then I'm gonna use my fingers. I'm gonna be putting it on the tip of my nose and on the bridge. So when you take photos, I know it's nice. It reflects. And then you can also actually put it here under the brows. Just highlight it a little. Here. And also on the inner corners of your eyes. Here. Especially if you have small eyes, this will make your eyes look more awake. So there, last but not the least, I am using, I actually have three options here. When I'm lazy, I usually put the Lip and Cheek Tint from KJM. This one is the Bittersweet Magenta. And then sometimes I like to use a lipstick. This one is the All Day Intense Matte Lipstick. It's the shade called New Zealand. Um, this is the BLK one. It's the travel sized one. And it's so cute because it's so tiny. So I'm perfect just a bag. Especially if you're wearing a small one. And there's also this one. This is the BLK Cosmetics Booya. And this one is like the soft matte cream that they have. Both have really, really good shades. I really like them. Um, I think I'm going in with this one right now. This is how it looks like. When I wear it. It kind of reminds me of the Charlotte Tilbury shade called Pillow Talk. So if you guys want to do, I think this is kind of similar to that. It looks very pink, pero what I like to do is I just dab it and then... There, it looks a little more natural. And then... 
we are just gonna set the makeup. I am using Maybelline's Master Fix Wear Boosting Setting Spray. Para lang the makeup stays on longer. And then I am fixing my hair. I will be taking these out. I received a few clips from one of my favorite Instagram stores called Shop Cali. They sent me the clips, yung mga super uso, like these ones. And I can't decide which one I want yet. They also sent me, so these are like the pearl ones. They sent me the acrylic ones as well. They're really, really cute. They're sent, I think they're selling this for like 90 pesos lang. I'll link them here. I'll put their Instagram handle. It's at shop.cali. Tapos, yeah. I'll fix my hair. I'll change my outfit. And I will get back to you guys. I'll show you how I look like after. So this is the final look and these are the clips that I use. These are from shop.cali. This is a close-up of how my makeup looks like. And I hope you guys learned something. I hope you guys send in your makeup photos or tag me on Instagram if you guys try to do this look. Or if you guys even just learned something from me, just let me know. DM me, message me. And I hope all of you girls have a good Valentine's date. Even if it's just with your friends. You don't have to have a boyfriend just so that you guys could do this. Go out with your friends. Enjoy. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for watching, loves.